I played FC24 for 11 days and in that time built an insane team and made some progress in the divisions. I then put another 3 days of free progression onto the account with my goal being to complete the game before the account turned 2 weeks old. When I logged on, I had loads of objectives to claim from the last time that I played on this account and these objectives were giving me some decent packs. On top of this, we also had a rival rewards ready to claim and the XP that we got from these rewards was important because we are not level 11 in the season pass but we need almost 10,000 XP to complete the entire thing and we need to complete the entire season pass in order to complete the game. Now there was one other thing that we needed to do as well but we'll get into that a bit later on and for now i would claim the level 11 reward and then i saw some objectives that required you to complete spcs in order to get massive amounts of xp and so i started to complete these spcs okay so we have no items in our club right now and that means that we can't do these spcs but we have so many packs in the store and by opening these we can get the players that we need and so i started off by opening the worst packs first and because i did it this way although they weren't bad the first five packs that i opened weren't anything special okay we're now into the good packs and the first one's going to be an english right pack from tottenham oh it's never and she is 84 rated the next pack that i opened would give me an 83 rated card but behind them was oh we got a first promo card but he is almost discard value and so i would continue opening these packs and in the next one we'd only get an 84 rated okay the pack should only get better from here is that going to be a hero nigerian did we just get okacha no way, I think we just got JJ. Oh no, it's just going to be Kanu. But this wouldn't be the best item that we packed in this video. And there are some decent cards behind him as well. Final pack now, okay, we top the last one. English right pack, please be Liverpool. No, the final pack is going to be an 85 rated trip here. But because we now had a lot more items in our club, I could complete all of the objective species that were available to me on this day. And after doing so, we're almost at the next level, but we can now claim two decent packs from the subjective. Now, after claiming these packs, I would start opening them. And although these packs were decent, we didn't get anything crazy from them. Okay, so the highest squad that we can build right now is 85, but we need better because completing an SPC could help us. Knowing this, I took a look at the objective section and I saw that we could very easily earn ourselves more packs as well as XP by simply just playing the game. And so I entered into division rivals to try to do this. Now the first game that I played was annoying because although our defense was incredible and we wouldn't concede a single goal for 90 minutes, I felt like we could do with some help in the attack because while our opponent couldn't score a single goal against us, we couldn't score a single goal against them and we'd end up drawing this game null null. I then decided to enter into another game and it started in the worst way possible. No? Why are we struggling in these games? And this was annoying for me because our entire team except for our attack was good and I had to try really hard to score. And in this game, trying hard is exactly what I would do. Kyoro into Neymar. Yes, we have a lead. And after taking this lead, we would be capable of scoring a couple more goals. But even though we won this game, so these games are really tough right now. And at this rate, we're never going to make it into Division 3. And remember when I talked about there being two things that we needed to do to complete the game? Well, reaching Division 3 was the second one. And this was because on another account, it took me over a month to do this. And so if I could achieve that same feat in only 14 days, I would be happy with my progression. Okay, we've completed a couple of objectives from those games. And we're going to be getting a 100k pack. Now, because we also got XP, we did make it to level 12 in the season pass and this allowed us to get a player pick come on 83 plus player pick and we just get an 83 rated and so after this i would open our 7.5k pack spanish center mid no way did we just get pareo we just got an 86 rated from a 7.5k pack and before opening the 100k pack i saw that content had refreshed and so after completing the objective spc for this day getting me the xp that i needed to level up in the season pass and get another decent pack i saw that they've just released an icon pack we have to complete it but because we couldn't afford to build the most expensive squad we needed to open our packs to get the high rated items that we needed okay this is an objective pack creation center mid be modric yes we just got ourselves an 87 rated modric i feel like this account has insane pack luck let's open the next pack egyptian no way right wing i think we just got Salah. there's no way we just packed Salah. but this wouldn't be the best player that we pack so he's worth over 100,000 coins and so he's definitely going into our team and that means we can sell out dembele who's tradable i then added modric into the icon squad but it still wasn't enough for us to complete it and so because i knew that i needed more xp and more packs as well i started to take a look at the objectives that i could complete and i saw that by playing more games we would get exactly what we needed but because of the fact that you get tradable rewards from the qualifiers and this could help us to make more coins which is going to be important because over the three days that we had i wanted to get the coins for son's inform card because i really wanted to have neymar in my team and getting son as a striker was the only way that i'd get chemistry on him and so i entered into the qualifiers and the first game was incredibly easy and neymar would show us why he was so important for our team i then continued to play and while our defense and our midfield was still really good the fact that we now had some extra help in the attack meant that we were now capable of scoring goals as well and after playing and winning the first four games that i played in a row if i could win the fifth game i would achieve qualification and so i really wanted to win this game solo now this guy's dribbling is so insane he finds son son into ramirez back to son 
and son scores and shortly after this my opponent would make a mistake he's brought his keeper out let's ship him that has to be going in and it does and at this point i was having so much fun with our team and i knew that i was completing a lot of objectives as well and after scoring two more goals and winning this game oh we're now qualified for the champions finals and because we had completed a lot of objectives as well not only were we getting a lot of packs but we also got the xp that we needed to make it to level 15 in the season pass okay first objective pack we need high rated items brazil neymar please no we're just gonna get tiago silva in the first pack but because he was a duplicate i had to complete an spc but after seeing that we needed a team of the week to complete the cheapest squad for the icon pack i used tiago silva and completed an 82 plus team of the week player pick okay we have a team of the week player pick and this account has insane pack luck i feel like we can get sun no but it is an 86 rated card but before doing anything with them i would start opening our objective packs come on high rated cards or neymar english right back oh i think we just got trent and the fact that it was high rated was nice but packing neymar would be even better because our one was tradable so we could free up a lot of coins penultimate pack is absolute trash and we were now down to our final pack striker is that immobile juve oh i've never seen this player but she's 86 rated we'll take it now because i was struggling to find games i ended my qualifier run because i was qualified and after getting more high rated items we had the opportunity to get coins swedish center back from juve she's only 82 rated but the next pack was a lot better because even though initially we only got an 83 rated behind them was another 83 rated item and both of these items sold for a decent amount of coins but there was also a hunter chemistry style and that helped us to make even more coins final tradable pack now okay they are 83 rated and these cards are selling for a decent amount of coins right now i would then add a high rated items into the icon squad and i saw that i had to use the 86 rated team of the week in order to complete the most expensive squad but i didn't want to do this because he would help us to complete the cheapest squad and after doing it we needed an 86 rated card oh i forgot to claim our season pass reward and straight away we can get an 86 rated card from level 15 now level 14 gave us an incredibly promising pack but before opening it i would use the 86 rated to complete the final icon pack squad and on an account with insane pack luck we had the chance to pack a game changer okay let's start with the tradable pack and we got this from the icon squad spanish center back and i think that's laporte and he's 85 rated oh and we got another promo card and because this pack was tradable this time packing these items allowed us to make a lot of queen okay level 14 reward we need neymar now no no way we're just gonna get an 85 rated and the players behind them was even worse okay it's the big one now come on english right mid is that going to be beckham no way we just got beckham that's actually an insane pull and his price tag implied just that now because i wanted to use him i would change our formation in order to fit him in but this would force me to bench son because this version couldn't go to the striker position but we could now add our 88 rated david beckham into our team okay so all of the players that we have listed sold and we're up to a decent amount of coins but because i really want to upgrade the striker position and son's card is extremely expensive i want to purchase jj okacha but we need to make 200,000 coins now there wasn't a lot of time left but the only game mode where we could realistically make these coins would be the champions finals and since we now needed just under 5000 xp to complete the season pass and the champions finals would give us 1500 of that xp i knew that i needed to play here on top of this all of the packs that we get from objectives was going to be important along with the packs that we get from the season pass because even though we just completed an icon pack we still needed a lot of fodder because we would end up coming in clutch later on and after seeing that i wasn't far from getting another 100k pack which was the same pack that we packed Salah in i decided to enter into the champions finals and the first game would go incredibly well and in it he would already make his mark beckham's pass was so good and salah just assisted neymar and not only could this man pass but he could also shoot beckham now i'm going for goal wow the technique is brilliant and with that technique he also made our opponent rage quit and that allowed us to win our first game even though the first was easy the second game was already incredibly difficult because after my opponent and i each scored one goal within regulation the game would then go to extra time my opponent and i would then be capable of scoring one more goal against each other but after the first half of extra time i would sub beckham off for son because i felt like we were missing something in the attack and i felt like we needed son no that would have been the winner after failing to score on that attempt we would be taken to penalties and because we performed well in the penalty shootout by the time it was son's turn we had the opportunity to win the game son now he has another chance to win it for us oh and the composure is insane and i felt like he was important for our team now at this point i wouldn't make any changes just yet and i would continue to play three more games and after winning the first one that i played i would lose the second but in my fifth game my opponent would give me a free win okay we've completed some objectives and we're getting some more decent packs as well as another 100k pack and so we needed high rated items 
or an untradable Neymar to free up the coins that we had locked in him. Three more packs left, and we're gonna need better than an 83 rated. The next pack was better because it was an 84 rated, but we were now down to our 100k pack. Come on, it's not a promo card creation. Sentiment, be Modric once again. Yes, we just packed an 87 rated Modric, and because there wasn't a lot of time left, and we were completing some objectives for XP, as well as getting a lot closer to getting another 100k pack, I would continue to play in the Champions Finals. Now the first game that I played was easy, and in this game, I was capable of scoring a total of four goals, and doing so would allow me to win the game. I did enter into another game, and the opponent that I was playing against was incredibly tough, and after conceding two goals, because I didn't see myself scoring any, I would leave this game. I'd then go into another game, and even though I was capable of scoring two goals, my opponent had a lot more success than I did, and they would score four goals against me, but this didn't make sense to me, because I felt like I was a better player than them, and in order to prove this, I needed to make a comeback to win. Okay, look, Rashford hasn't been that good, and so I'm going to sub Son on for him. And some players are simply just different. Beckham into Salah, outside for shot, and Salah scores, we need one more. And in the 81st minute, we would get an opportunity, and with it being late into this game, we needed to score. Son, I'm gonna go for goal, and he equalizes the game for us. And after equalizing, Son would find Neymar, and after Neymar scored our first, telling me why we needed these players in our team, we would end up winning this game. Neymar would then help us to win another game after this, and after winning that game, I'd find the exact same opponent who I had lost to, and in this game, although we'd still end up losing, it was clear that we were playing a lot better, because this time, the game was a lot closer. Okay, so after 10 games, we have 7 wins and 3 losses, but we need to finish our games because we don't have a lot of time left. And because we didn't have a lot of time left, I would rush while playing these games, and after playing the next batch of 5 games, although we were capable of winning 3, we would end up losing 2. Okay, we can only lose one more game if we want to get rank 4 rewards. And so this is how our next game went. Salah on the wing. This card's dribbling is unbelievable. Ramirez into Beckham. Can Beckham find someone? He finds Neymar who scores. Becks once again, Neymar's through. Oh, what a pass from Beckham. Can we score? What a finish from Neymar! And after our opponent rage quitted, we had picked up another win. I then go into another game, and with the momentum that I now had, I would be capable of winning it, but I then found one of the opponents that I had lost to previously, and I wanted to prove that I could beat them. Rashford, good skill, and what a finish as well! And in a massive game, once again, I found myself subbing Son on for Beckham, because I just felt more comfortable with four attackers, especially if they were as good as... Son? We have a two-goal lead! But even though this was the case, I still didn't feel safe against this opponent. No? How do you score with the left back? And after scoring a cheesy goal, my opponent would get another opportunity. Do I have to defend that? No, how have we lost the lead? And after they equalized, the game would go to extra time. And after conceding one goal like this, I felt defeated after conceding the second. He goes for goal? How have we just conceded two goals like that? And with not a lot of time in this game, I would be forced to press my opponent. And in a game which I felt like I actually deserved to win, I would end up losing, meaning that I had to win the last two games that I had in a row. Now because I felt the way I did after losing the last game and i carried that energy into the next one i would end up conceding goals and because my spirits were low i would give up and take the l in this game now because winning my last game wouldn't do anything for me i would give my next opponent a free win and i could now claim my rank 5 rewards okay we actually have some insane packs to open and we're getting a good amount of xp and coins as well first player pick now our luck has been insane oh and we're gonna get a 90 rated in our first player pick second pick now and another really high rated card that's not bad and in our final player pick we'd get another high rated item i then saw that thanks to the xp that we got we had made some good progress in the season pass allowing us to get a couple of really good packs and because we had now completed some more objectives we were capable of getting some more really good packs okay let's start with the untradables we're not gonna get a promo card and it looks like in our first pack we're just gonna get an 84 rated goalkeeper our next two packs would both give us 85 rated items but we now had our 81 plus times 11 pack i have high hopes for this one danish cdm no way an 84 rated card is going to be our best player and after opening all of the untradable packs we were now down to our tradable ones and remember, we wanted to purchase Okacha, so we needed to make 170,000 coins from them. First pack is going to be Brozovic, and that's really bad. But because we needed coins, I would do my best to make as many as I could from this pack. 85 times 2 now, I expect at least one walkout. English? Striker? No way, we're not even getting a walkout. Our best card is an 85 rated striker. Or at least, that's what I thought. Oh, no way! We packed Calvin Phillips' promo card! And after seeing that he was worth 170,000 coins, I would sell him, and even though we could now afford a catcher, I was hoping that the last pack would help me to get the coins I needed for Sun. Final pack, American left mid. Okay, we just get an 85 rated in the last pack. Is there anything behind her though? Yes, there is an inform, as well as some other items with decent rating that I would end up selling, and out of these, the inform would have the most value. And after some of our players sold, we were up to 234,000 coins, but we were still waiting on the big boys to sell. 
Star players have sold and we have so many coins. And because we were replacing him, I would sell Rashford and then I'd explore the market to see all the options available. But after doing so, Okocha is the best player we can afford right now, so I'm going to purchase him. And we had just acquired another massive upgrade for our team, but surprisingly, we'd still proceed to make quite a few upgrades to this team. So we're nearing the end of the season pass and they've added a pro live cup and we can get some XP from playing in this game mode. We could still also get XP by just playing games. And because of the fact that we were close to completing Jata and we needed to get assist with a Portuguese player, I would purchase a Portuguese pro life item before playing my first out of the 8 games that I had on this day. And because of the fact that the skill based matchmaking in the friendliest game mode, we were playing against the same opponents but we'd face in division rivals. And when you couple this with the fact that I was going for the Portuguese assists, you shouldn't be surprised to hear that we ended up losing our first game. Now in our second game that we played, I would continue going for Portuguese assists. And in this game, I had a lot more success. But after winning the second game that I played, I noticed that, wait, this has 7 been counting because we have to play in rivals or the champions game mode. And because we had a pro live player in our team, the wins were counting. But because I wanted some more help in the attack, I would bench Beckham to add Neymar back into our team. And unintentionally from doing this, I would learn the biggest lesson that helped us moving forward. And this was because of the fact that we now had 4 attackers in our team, instead of having 3 attackers with 3 midfielders, we were capable of scoring a lot more goals. And with the way that I played this game, this was exactly what I needed. And throughout the next 5 games that I played, even though these were the same opponents that would face in division rivals, all of a sudden, we were absolutely dominating, and we would win every single one of these games until eventually, we only had one game left. And this is how our final game went. Oh no, this guy's an insane team. He shoots with his Salah, and that card is too good. Neymar now finds Okacha. This guy has been a bit underwhelming. JJ once again, into Neymar. Can Neymar score from here? We shoot. What a finish. And after this, Salah had the opportunity to give us the lead. Salah? What a finish! And against an incredibly tough opponent, because we now had 4 attackers, we were capable of scoring a couple more goals and winning our last game as well. Okay, so with no games left, we have made a decent amount of progress in the objective. And so let's claim this player pick first. And it's only 80 plus, so I don't expect anything good. Hello? Oh, but we get an 88 rated card. I would then claim the other packs that we had earned. And because we had leveled up in the season pass, we got another incredibly good pack. And after the first two packs were awful, we were down to our best pack. Come on, it's an 85 double. Jamaican? No way! An 85 rated card is going to be our best player and with the items we had accumulated to this point we could build an 87 rated squad and this was good because we would complete an spc later on now at this point we had 65,000 coins and i wanted to make a couple of purchases to round out our team and because of this i would not only complete the ua for market matchups but also the market matchups as well and after doing so we had a lot of tradable packs to open which we could make a lot of coins from but not if the rest of the packs would be like the first one. Second pack now is going to be garbage and garbage would be the perfect adjective to describe the next three packs that we opened however in the third one we did get a shadow chemistry cell and this did help us to make almost 5,000 coins. We're up to 80,000 coins and we do have two packs left and the first one's going to be a German center mid from Barcelona. That's going to be Gundogan and he's 86 rated and after making as many coins as I could from this pack we were down to our final one. Creation is at Modric once again, CDM. That's going to be Brozovic and he's 83 rated so we won't make that many coins and after starting to make as many coins as I could while waiting for our players to sell I wanted to complete Jota's card and because of the fact that we could still get XP by playing games and by playing in the rivals game mode we could work towards getting some packs along with the packs that we could get from completing other objectives that we were close to doing and so i would enter into division rivals and in my first game i was confident because of the fact that we had so much success in the friendlies game mode and with this confidence i would score three goals in the first game that i played and this would allow us to win now at this point i saw that we were on a win streak which meant that winning our next game would allow us to reach a checkpoint and so therefore it was of utmost importance that we won this next game oh no he's through with his tourists can we catch him no he scores and at this point things would go from bad to worse for us and so in order to reach that checkpoint, we needed to make a comeback. Neymar Akasha's through. Can he score? He actually does. And at this point, one more goal would at least equalize the game for us. Neymar, he moves his keeper. What a finish. Wait, he's paused the game? No, he lived. Both the win still intact. The next game was extremely important for the same reason as before. Akasha now. We find Neymar. Neymar, good dribbling. And good skill. And Neymar gives us a lead. But at this point, I would get another opportunity. Salah now. He's been so good for us. But after this, my opponents would score a goal. And due to poor defending, they would get another opportunity. That's never going in? No way. But I knew that I needed to win this game. Neymar with the step overs and the finish as well. And after taking the lead, we would get another opportunity. Salah with the finesse. I'm in love with this card. And that goal would allow us to win this game and reach the checkpoint as well. Now after this, I would play one more game in Division Rivals. But in this game, it was clear to me that the opponents that we were finding were starting to 
to get a lot tougher. And once again, after conceding two goals and then coming back and equalizing the game, my opponent would leave while the game is tied up. But with these games being tough and a win streak still being intact, I didn't mind this because it gave me the opportunity to upgrade my team. Okay, so all of our items have sold and we have gotten the assist that we needed. That means we're gonna get Charter's card. We had also completed a few other objectives and still allowed us to get a few decent packs. And so we now had a little bit of a pack opening. First pack's just an 83 rated card. Now the next pack would also give us an 83 rated card and the pack after that would one up the previous one and then we had our final pack. German, Kohli, please beat the Sagan from Wolfsburg. Our final pack is going to be an 85 rated. Now because we no longer needed him, I would sell our pro live item. And because I prefer to play with 4 attackers, Son would once again return to our starting 11. And because of the fact that our players had now sold, I could make a couple of the upgrades that I wanted to to our team. So I'm going to be purchasing Allison, and it's going to be a massive upgrade on the 83 rated card we have. But because I feel like Kyle Walker is the best right back in the game, I'm going to purchase him as well. Now at this point, I would sell Loris, but I would hold on to the inform right back who we had. And then I'd add Allison and Kyle Walker into our team, and the coins that we still had on our account was going to be important because there was another player that this resource would allow us to obtain. Okay so our games have refreshed which also means that content is refreshed and so I'm going to complete the text SPC and this is allowing us to make progress in the objective and get ourselves a lot closer to that 81 times 11 pack. Now both of the packs that we got would unfortunately end up being awful but because we now had more games and we only had to win 3 to complete the entire Pro Live Cup, I would add our new Pro Live item into our team and then start to play these games. Now the first game that I played was a tough one but because I was playing to my strengths I was improving a lot quicker and even though Okacho was underwhelming, our attack was still good enough to the point we would not only win this game but also the game that I played after this. And with 6 games left, we only had to win 1 in order to complete the pro live objective. And I really wanted to win this game. Jota now finds Ramirez into Salah. This guy's dribbling is so good and Salah gives us a lead. And like I said, I was playing on another level. We find Salah. Salah into Diego Jata, back to Salah, Salah with the finesse, that is so satisfying. After scoring these two goals, in the 89th minute, my opponent would get one back, but unfortunately for them, this was too little too late, meaning that we completed the entire Pro Live Cup and got a good few packs to open. Okay, let's start with the 81 times 2 Nigerian striker, is it Osimhen? No, we only get an 81 rated. 82 times 2 now, Dutch, centre back B Van Dijk again? No, it's just a look. But even if it was Van Dijk, that still wouldn't be the best player we pack in this video. Now our 84 plus pack would only give us an 84 rated card and we are now down to our final pack. Spanish, right back, is that Carval? No, it's from Barcelona and it is going to be an 85 rated. Now on this day, I would contemplate selling Okacha, but because we couldn't afford any better than him, and our team was a lot better than what it was before, I would try to make it into Division 3. And our next game was incredibly important, because with us playing against tough players, we needed every single edge that we could get, but with the way they played, I was happy with every single one of our attackers, except for JJ Okacha. And the reason for this was not because he was awful, but because of the fact that for that many coins, I just felt like it wasn't worth it, and this could be due to the fact that he is a hero item and does give you better links, but after playing and drawing the first game, I knew that at this rate we wouldn't make it into division 3 until we upgraded that position. Now with some coins left over and a lot of our coins locked into our culture, we didn't need to make that many coins in order to be able to purchase Hansen and as a gold card I knew that she would be worth every single coin that she costed. Ok I'm selling our culture because I need to upgrade him but we're also not far from the next level in the season boss and because of the fact that I could get XP by playing in the moments game mode I would do exactly this and after doing so I saw that by completing the daily objectives one more time and simply just playing one more game in rivals or champions we could get all the XP that we needed to to complete the entire season pass. Now, to complete the daily objectives, we needed to score two goals, and because of the fact that you could get tradable rewards from playing in the qualifiers, and we needed to make coins to be able to purchase Hansen, this is the area where I would play this game, and against an absolutely insane team, we needed to score two goals. Kiora now into Sun with the stepovers. I can't believe we benched him, and at this point, we only needed to score one more goal. Neymar finds Salah, back to Kiora into Ramirez who finds Neymar, good skill, and what a goal from Neymar! And after scoring a second, I would have an opportunity to score the third. Chata is literally better than Okacha. And our opponent forfeits as well. And because we scored the two goals that we needed, we had completed all of the XP objectives, allowing us to get all of the XP that we needed to complete the entire season pass. And after claiming a new player, as well as an incredibly good pack, all we needed to do to complete the game was make it into Division 3. Okay, so Okacha hasn't sold, so I'm going to list him as the cheapest one. Because we'll still need to make almost 100,000 coins after Okacha sells, I'm going to complete this SPC. Now this wasn't the only reason I wanted to complete this SPC because the other reason was the fact that when coming up against her I felt like she was one of the best left backs in the game and on top of this because of the fact that they were destroying in their group and Salma is a live item it's very likely that she will get a plus 2 on top of the insane stats that she already has. Now in the pack that we got from completing her we would pack an 85 rated card and this did allow us to make some more coins but this wasn't how I planned on making coins from completing her this was. 
So now that we have Salma in the team, we can sell our tradable Theo and make almost 20,000 coins from him. And while we're waiting on our final two items to sell, we have our level 20 season pass reward to open. English, be a striker, it's a right back. We're just gonna get Trent, but it's more than one walkout. And we get Bernardo Silva as well, who's 88 rated. Now, is there anything behind them? Oh, Leo's in there as well. Now, because we were still waiting for items to sell, and even after they did sell, we still need roughly 60,000 coins to purchase Hansen, I would continue playing in the qualifiers because I knew that we could get some good rewards from this. Now, the next few games that I played in the qualifiers would only increase my confidence because Theo was incredibly good for us, and I was hoping that Salma would be as good, but not only was she as good, she was even better. On top of this, I really started to gel with the attack, and between Neymar, Salah, and Son, I had three of my favorite players. Not only were we winning games in the qualifiers, but we were absolutely dominating. I mean, we even beat people who've played the game for over 11 years. So we're 8 0 with two games left, and if we can win both, we'll get some insane rewards. And this is how the first out of the two games that we played win. So now, how is he this good? And after this, Ramirez would find Neymar, who did a little bit of magic. Neymar now is gonna lunge in, we cooked him, and we scored an insane goal. And after this, Neymar, Son, and Salah would link up to score our third goal in this game, but it would only be after Jota scored our fourth goal in this game that our opponent forfeited and we got ourselves our ninth win. And we only needed to win the last game that we had, but it would start off in the worst way possible. Noah moving the keeper, but he scores. And it was in this game where I really felt like lacking a fourth attacker was causing us to lose. But after conceding two, Son would score a goal for us and we had the chance of making a comeback. But after this, our opponent would score a third goal and making a comeback started to look less likely son let's run through let's score in the near post yes but at this point even though we only needed to score one more goal because we lacked a really good fourth attacker we weren't capable of doing so and we'd end up losing our last game so we only get ranked two rewards but these rewards are still incredibly good and so hopefully we can make the coins that we need to now before opening these packs i saw that we'd completed a lot of other objectives and so i would claim all of the rewards from these objectives but after doing so and opening the untradable packs that we got because our players had sold we were up to 440,000 coins but in order to put just Hansen, we needed to make 50,000 from our qualifier rewards. First pack is a French left back B Mendy with you from Leon. No, she's going to be worthless. And from these packs, I was hoping for anything that would take us over the line. Okay, we do get an 84 rated in the next pack, and so we will make some coins from this, but these packs need to start getting better. Now, the penultimate pack would not be better, and an 83 rated card was obviously worse, and so it all came down to this final pack. German center back B Rudiger. No, that's just going to be Hummels. And as an 83 rated card, we can't make that many coins. Oh, but we do have our hunter chemistry style. And so after listing this, I would sell the rest of the items in this pack. And after most of our items sold, we still needed about 20,000 coins. Fortunately for us, we still had our team of the week right back. And he was worth almost 30,000 coins. And so as soon as he sold, we were up to 490,000 coins. And this meant that we can afford to purchase Hansen. And now we can add it into our team. And I know I haven't been thinking of chemistry. But because we have completed the season pass and we don't have a lot of time left, we need to make it into Division 3. In order to complete the game and this is how our first game went son threw to hansen for a first touch with through one goal he takes us out that has to be a red yes he's just gotten himself a red card now after missing the free kick with the disadvantage that our opponent had we would score a goal after it and with not much hope our opponent would leave the game and this would give us our first win now in the next game that i played i started to feel confident about my purchase because this player was always in the right position and hansen was simply just different hansen now good turn into neymar I'm in love with our attackers. Back to Hansen, into Son. We pass through to Salah, and Salah's there to finish it. And after this team goal, our opponent would forfeit, and winning our next game was important, because it would allow us to pick up a win streak and reach the next checkpoint as well. Neymar finds Hansen now, we do some stepovers, she's through, and she scores! And after this, with our new upgrades, we would continue to dominate in this game, and without even scoring another goal, our opponent would eventually rage quit, allowing us to reach a checkpoint. Now in the next game, after conceding first against my opponent, signifying that the games were getting a lot tougher, I would still play incredibly well, allowing me to not only score the equalizer, against him but also have them rage good while the game was tied up but because content had refreshed i would see what was available so the final pro life spc should be available so i'm gonna go ahead and complete it after doing so and getting another decent pack i saw that there was an 84 plus road to the knockout upgrade and because we had previously packed a team of the week and we needed one to complete this spc i would use them to do exactly that and get another really exciting pack okay we've now completed this entire objective and we are picking up some really incredible packs so let's start opening them now the first pack was horrible but hopefully in the second one we could back our best player in this video brazil please be left wing no i wanted neymar but i only got an 81 rated center forward 100k back now brazil be left wing it is a left wing this has to be him yes i think we just got neymar no way we just packed an untradable neymar 
because our one was tradable, we were capable of making a lot of coins. And surely this was the best player we'd pack. Okay, we still have two really good packs. First one's going to be an Italian CDM. That's no. Tonali. And so we are getting a workout from our 81 times 11. Are behind him worse than in form, but not that much else. And we're now down to our most exciting pack. Okay, what are we getting? A Dutch left wing from the League 1. Okay, the card actually doesn't look that bad, and we can use him as a super sub. Now, even though all of our items sold, and we did have a lot of coins now, we didn't have a lot of time left, and we needed to make it into Division 3 to complete the game. And because we are on a win streak, a win here would be a decent start. Graham is through, I'm going for the near post, it falls to Son, and he scores the easiest goal of his life. Salma would then combine with our now incredible attack, allowing us to score another goal in this game, but these games weren't easy, and after scoring this goal, our opponent would get one back. And so I wanted to extend our lead. Asha wins the ball back, Find Son, Graham's open, can she score from here? Of course she can! And after regaining a two goal lead, we would absolutely run riot against our opponent and score six more goals against him in an incredibly tough division, allowing me to pick up a lot of momentum and because of our win streak, make it one win away from reaching Division 3, both only enough time to play one more game, we needed to win it in order to complete the game. Oh no, he's reached the byline? No, he knows how to play this game. Oh, we were so close and we spent so many coins for one reason. Graham, she gets blocked but it falls back to her and she scores an easy goal. And because we had built a team of insane players in every position, we would get another opportunity. Salah makes a good run, and he scores as well, we have the lead. And she would pay every single coin that we spent on her back. Graham, that was insane, and she scores! And after this, with the momentum on our side, we would be capable of scoring a fourth goal. But because I was playing in an overconfident manner, my opponent would get one goal back. And so we needed to stay focused. No, how has that gone through? No, we only have a one goal lead. And because of the amount of time we had left, if we were to draw this game, we would fail our challenge. No? Allison, what a save! Our opponent would then continue to apply pressure onto us. And in the 90th minute, after almost scoring off of a corner, they would earn themselves another corner. Allison, you have to get there? Yes, he gets to it. And now we just have to hold the ball. And after doing exactly that, thanks to a Graham hat trick, we would beat an incredibly tough opponent. And doing so meant that we have just about made it into Division 3, which means we completed the game. And even though she was incredible for us, at this point, I would sell Graham, but I would also sell all the other tradable items in our team. Because after only playing six games, her price had already dropped by 40,000 coins. And this was because of the Black Friday promo coming out soon. Now, once all of our players sold, we were completely liquid. And with over 600,000 coins, we still had an absolutely insane team. And if you guys enjoyed this video, you'll enjoy one of these ones. So go ahead and click on any of those videos to watch them.